And so, finally, we come to a moment where we say goodbye after 21 years as the sagest of pundits to Mr Keith Wood, as yes. good off the field as he was on it. Whenever Keith Wood gets the ball, there's a bit of yoinks and tally-ho about him. And Wood has scored! The crowd are just Keith Wood, like a buffalo on the rampage. And there's that characteristic driving run. The kick ahead there by Miller. The try given. The captain is having a day of days. I've seen love go by my door. It's never been this close. Now a chance there for Keith Wood. It's a try. Oh, that's a good pass to Wood, but he's going to score now. Go, go, go! That surely is the Grand Slam. Yes. The world is green tonight, I tell you that. And you couldn't have picked a better weekend, really. You know, an Irish victory, and we just talked about scrummaging the whole time. So this is Nirvana. I know, scrummaging is just perfect, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, it was good. It was a good Paddy's uh, weekend, great week in Cheltenham, and then Ireland uh, doing one over England, spoiling the party. We have a small present for you. Keith, on behalf of all of us here at BBC Rugby, We'd like to uh, present you with this lovely cap that has your time span here at the BBC and uh, just say, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm not sure if it will fit. No yeah. way will it fit my head, <laughs> I have to be honest. Thanks for being a good sport and a good man. It's been a pleasure working with you. Thank you, Cherry. Oh, we're, we're getting, we're, we're getting, we're getting as, as, as emotional like as, as Vern Cotter. Yeah. Well, I put that on there for the sake of... <laughs> oh, good God, I have a very large Swede. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear, that, that, that is fantastic. That's, that's like Jennings or something from some school there, Tom Brown school days. Yeah.